all the information together then? There is a candidate connection to this. Well, for sure. No. So, we made Deep two. We made, as a kid, we made two long distance trips, and my parents stopped a lot of places along the way, visiting people that we didn't know. This trip to Canada, we went through Des Moines, Iowa. We went through Minnesota. I remember Polak Joe. His name, according to this, was Joe Sablo Sablovich. That sounds like an Eastern European name. Polak Joe sounds like a mafia name to me. Um, we, we, we went through Minnesota. We went to Lake Osakis because that's where Polak Joe was. And then we went to Canada. And not just one place in Canada because I remember Manitoba, Alberta, and Quebec. That's three different provinces. Why would you be all over that the place like that? I don't know. Supposedly it was a fishing trip, but I never, I never saw him fish. Well, what were they fishing for then? That's the question. Supposedly it was just my dad by himself wanting to fish, which doesn't make sense. I mean, one day he hired some kid to take us as a guide to take us out on some lake but they weren't fishing that wasn't the purpose of the trip it was the same thing with California fuck it took us two weeks to get to California they stopped and visited so many people we got to California spent one day and headed back so it was an, an annoying car trip for sure oh <laughs> awful you know, it's like being with five people locked up in an RV. <clears throat> it's only slightly better than a car, but at least if you're in a car, you're going to stop and stay in motels. I told you, I've got these tape recordings, and <sighs> my parents, they, their voices, these people have New Orleans accents. And even my parents are speaking with New Orleans accents. And it's like, do I not remember what they sounded like? I don't remember them speak, talking like that and them sounding like that with those accents. And they're all on cassettes, but some of them are back in the 50s before cassette players were available. So, because even in, in the 60s, I wanted a tape recorder for Christmas, which where did I get that idea as a little kid? And I got this real complicated, real, big complicated reel-to-reel -reel thing where you had to thread tape. So he must have had tapes that he re-recorded onto cassette. Ooh, I remember having that as a child. They knew people in places, and I can't figure out why. I mean... Nevada, Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Florida. There's, it, and then, then you know the New Orleans connections. I got a picture of my aunt in New Orleans. I've got pictures of New Orleans uh, cemetery crypts. I've got. So what's the Hurricane Katrina aspect to all of this? Because there's like this, there's obviously a New Orleans mafia. There's, I'm telling you, all of this, it's, there's still a mafia. There's still a mafia war going on. It's the same fucking war. It's a lot of slow on me. Okay, so. I'll tell you the Boston bombing connection thing. Um, that was done by the that was done by the Mormon Masonic Mafia. You've got a picture of, of Sonic Drive in in front of a picture that somebody just happened to catch of the initial blast. Yeah, sure. The the, the Boston Marathon bombing 
what gave it away was the whole deal about a second bomb, which was miles down the road and just happened to be next to the Kennedy Library. Yeah. And, the, and they, there was something about silver and all that, and there was a big scandal about um, uh, precious metal vaults for like retirement accounts in Texas that uh, they were basically raiding and stealing people's precious metals that they were storing. One of them would have been a company called Sterling. And then, you know, it's like the day after the Boston bombing, you had the fertilizer plant explosion. And once again, all of these phony people, you know, fake injured people, they were transported in wheelchairs rather than gurneys, which was just bizarre. Well, what's that code about then? I don't know. Because I have... just know that the Boston bombing and the explosion in Texas at the fertilizer plant. Remember this fertilizer thing? I just if you read I anything that I gave you, you'll see the fertilizer thing. Um, it, it, the, these are messages between mafia groups, threats. So the Kennedy Mafia group is still out there. The Texas New Orleans Kennedy Mafia group is still out there, still operating. The Bush wasn't one of them. The Bushes were not part of that. What do you think the code was being communicated with that Asian woman pushing the guy in the wheelchair with one leg? What was that, what was that all about? There's a couple of Asians involved in this. Um, it's very weird. There's 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 an Asian guy in um, involved in a mafia faction. There's an Asian guy involved in Babe's Supper Club, and there's also a mis very mysterious Asian reporter. <laughs> In photos when uh, Lee Oswald is in custody in Dallas that's been a lot of speculation it's like who is this Asian guy in these pictures and of course there was Lee Oswald one of the Lee Oswalds going to Japan and Lee Oswald couldn't have gone to Japan and Russia at the same time so I don't know what the Japan you know the Japan connection is but yeah, you know, you've got the picture of uh, Lee Oswald in the Philippines in the door of a military uh, dining room, and John Wayne's in there, and you're looking through the Venetian blinds. It's a picture taken through Venetian blinds. And of course, one of the movies playing at the uh, Texas Theater was a John Wayne movie, and it was. Uh, the Barbarian and the Geisha was one of the movies playing there at that time. I did find a fucking Philippines connection. It was um, their use of false flag events to start wars, and one of them was um, Laos and the Philippines. I did find that. Well then, Lee, uh, what's, what's the connection between Canadian that Tim Hortons Canada's uh, uh, Canada's Tim Hortons going into Philippines right now with the donuts? When you consider what pizza and donuts are all about, the shoe bread, what's really going on now? There's also something about the big secret about the North Pole and the the shit in the sky being a mirror reflection. That's something that is, it's a secret that's being held internationally by all countries. They all know. Um, then it, why aren't they which, saying if everybody knows it? You think about the 1960s and the Cuban thing that basically started the Cold War. Does the Cold War have something to do with the North Pole? And then we've got corrupt police. Well, what are police? Pole icemen? <laughs> I mean, um, 
you know, of course Russia's going to know what the, they're going to know more than anybody about the North Pole because they've always been there right up in in the Arctic. They would be the well, I guess the English would know too because they were up there and you know. So I just had Netherlands, a, Ireland. I had a thought um, that event in uh, Russia, nineteen oh eight, whatever it was called. Um, could that possibly have been? Well, they say it was Tesla's weapon. So if ma mafia is communicating between one another, that Tianjin explosion. <laughs> Could that just have been their Tesla weapon and they're just communicating like, hey, we have this weapon now. So the people in the know understand that while everyone outside doesn't. Well, they've threatened China a lot. Why do you think China continues to buy so much of our debt? That Remember the huge China earthquake? And that was definitely hard because if you look at pictures of it, this, um, uh, what do they call it? A, Sun dog, the weirdest sun dog you ever want to see. It's right before the earthquake. The Chinese they filmed this weird phenomenon in the sky where this this uh, rainbow thing bro just broke out and started spreading across the sky very quickly. And then there was just a major earthquake. It was hard, and the Chinese know it, but they don't tell their citizens because why? How come nobody's telling anybody anything? I mean, have you ever read about the the China Opium Wars? China was forced was forced to allow opium trade. Read, read, read the China Opium Wars. It's, it's hideous. And they did the same thing to the Japanese. They forced them. It was the East India um, Dutch and English companies. They forced them, forced their way in, forced them to trade. And they said, you're going to market our heroin. You have no choice. And it's kind of funny now that they have Pizza Hut has those fortune bag pizzas or whatever, basically mocking them. <laughs> The donut thing has to do with the North Pole vortex, and that's why Pole Icemen like to eat donuts. Well, why are they getting the Filipino children then? Why in the Philippines of all places? Because it's an easy place to obtain children, just like from China. It, it, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of corruption and human trafficking. So when are like actual Chinese people going to start caring about this. I mean, if you want to come down to it, the Russians may be the only fucking sane people on this planet. It looks... <laughs> wow. Possibly. But it is claimed that right before, right before Kennedy was assassinated, he said, I would rather my children be red than dead. And if you read that link that I gave you, this kind of American military war machine, they were ready to basically obliterate the planet with nuclear bombs, thinking that they would come out winners. They were going to bomb Cuba. They were going to bomb Russia and almost all of the eastern hemisphere of the planet. But then Kennedy did his little fake death. Why? I think he, I think he had lost control and knew that they were going to get to him one way or another, and that it was better for Johnson to pretend to be somewhat on their side and to try to get control of it. I think that Johnson and Kennedy, I think they planned it, and I think that they used the old, old mafia of New Orleans to do it. And that you're, you're talking about uh, Carola, who took over um, from Matt Renga. That's where the... I, I'm pretty sure that's where the orangutan comes in. And, of course, Corolla was called Silver Dollar Sam. 
And, you know, the whole thing about Kennedy wanting to get rid of the Federal Reserve and have currency issued by Congress that was backed by silver. And that's supposedly one of the biggest reasons they wanted to get rid of him, too. So, you know, the Federal Reserve wanted to get rid of Kennedy. The Mafia was pissed off at Kennedy because he didn't, you know... um, go in and, and, you know, get, start a big war getting Castro out of Cuba. I mean, the mafia was deeply embedded in Cuba. They had huge casinos, and it was big business before 1959. What, the, also, what did you say also, about Corolla, they were, though? They were also importing shit that was impregnated with thud sugar. What, what and did, I think it's I think it still is. What did you say about Corolla though? Silver Dollar Sam Corolla. Because there's a Toyota Corolla. Yeah, I know. In Japan. Uh basically seemed to be, even though he was deported uh eventually deported, like back in the forties, he still seemed to be running All of the mafia families in the states until some kind of war broke out between the mafia and could that be possibly what some of these murders are happening up in in Ottawa and Canada in Quebec disappearances and murders of these like people there, it's connected so, to the mafia, I think. So it's like what some is, of them. Some of them are just occult ritual <coughs> things, but <coughs> a lot of murders, like back in the forties, the Bronx Dahlia murder and all the murders connected to it, they were communi- They were using these high pro- high profile murder cases to secretly communicate things through radio and newspaper on it, and there's all kinds of that communication going on in every bit of evidence um, reported about the Kennedy assassination. So why so much of it doesn't make sense is because they were using it to secretly communicate shit. Makes sense. The Mafia got most of it, just like Hollywood, (coughs) the Mafia determines who gets into the Hollywood entertainment industry and the mafia determines who becomes politicians. But your your Federal Reserve, that is Masonic occult. Okay, so that's your that's your English Irish Masonic occult. And they are you got Jewish mafia. You got Italian mafia. What about the Islamic you, mafia? You, you, you've got. You probably still do have a, a black mafia. <coughs> there was a Chinese mafia in the United States, but that mostly died out many years ago. So the Jew, the Jew mafia, and the Italian mafia worked hand in hand. The Jews pretty much took over Hollywood. Um, you have to understand the the, the English, the, the Masons, the English, the Irish. That all comes from Jews. So, what's the solution to this worldwide fuck up? A lot of these people don't know don't know what they're involved in. I would say probably the majority of the, the Mormons don't really know what the fuck they're involved in. And <coughs> I truly believe that the, the, the segment of the CIA that was involved in the Kennedy assassination, they really think they're covering up a murder. And it didn't actually happen. So everyone's running around playing make-believe. Yeah. 
and they get all of these people to cooperate and assist them in these things and all those people think that they're doing it for different reasons how about a lot, of, a lot of it, I mean, most of them probably think it's they're being patriotic. They're 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 trying to save the country. They they're all giving different reasons why. Jeez. So they want to nuke an American city, right? <laughs> like that's one of their plans. So I remember you asking me before, like, how is Baltimore involved in this, right? Baltimore goes all the way back to the Lincoln assassination, which I, you know, I know that <coughs> the people that they said that they hanged didn't really die. I don't know about Lincoln. But somehow that pertains to the North Pole, too. The Lincoln Sea is right next to the North Pole. So in their sick, twisted, occult mind, somehow assassinating Lincoln was, uh, you know, uh, keeping the North Pole from, you know, reverting to the way it, it originally was before there was a magnetic field, which what? involves heavy water. And, of course, the Lincoln Penny, copper. Well, mining started with copper. So, um, and I do believe that the, the North Pole disaster was the result of mining and blasting. Did Lincoln possibly also give himself a fake death? Could they have been it's just... Po it's possible. Lincoln, though, didn't look well. He looked sick, so I don't, I don't know. But what if that's just makeup and stuff? Well, uh, you know, that's true. What if There's they just had the event? If they had, okay, we have to consider. <clears throat> if they had the technology of cell phones and stuff back in the 1880s and 90s, well, 30 years previous, couldn't they have had advanced prosthetics and makeup? Like... Yeah, we're, and there's a we're lot talking of about the theater. We're talking about the theater, right? And there's a there's a there's a lot of fake pictures of Lincoln out on the you know in the in the battlefield where the troops are, and um, Lincoln's wife was a real cunt. She was actually running things rather than Lincoln. <laughs> Mary Todd. Uh huh. <coughs> she was crazy. Um, just thinking. You were wanting to know how the New Orleans uh, Mafia and the connection had all that technology prior to um, when it's been historically stated. So Bill Gates obviously is just an actor and a front man for their computer stuff, right? The Bill mm -hmm. Bill Bill Gates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I suspected that, seeing as the yeah. John D. Eli Queen Elizabeth stuff, right? New Orleans and Bombay blood and the whole vampire thing. Um, you know that they finally figured out that Bombay blood originated in the Delta from a certain tribe of Indians that the French took as slaves. The French? Uh-huh. So the French took them as slaves, uh, sold some of them in India. They also took slaves in India, and then they took some of them to Reunion Island, and that's why there was the big cluster of Bombay blood on Reunion Island. Uh, it's because the French... It was from who they took captive, both in India and the the New Orleans Delta region. Okay, so then is this why there is a that's okay? Is that why the CEO of Pizza Hut, like China, is like an Indian guy? And this is like the same Pizza Hut that are putting out fortune bags, which look like just parachutes where you you put like I guess like 
ecstasy. Parachutes? You know what? You're not a drug user, so you don't know what a parachute is. You take like the the ground up drug, like ecstasy, MDMA, or heroin, or whatever. Put it in a bag, and then you fucking uh, swallow it. It's called parachuting. Obviously, it has a lot of connotations, okay. but these are on the Pizza Hut pizzas in China. Let's talk about other parachute yeah. references. Okay, number one, they keep talking about the golden parachute. Number two, Val Thor, Jesse Womble, supposedly parach was a paratrooper and parachuted into France and Belgium. Okay, so there's your second parachute. Let me show you the third, and it pertains to the North Pole, and it's in a crop circle. Crop circle. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, it's the North Pole, and it shows the center vortex that um, sine waves that still have the uh, combination positive-negative particles intact get through the center of the vortex into Earth. So there is some that get through. And otherwise, I don't see how we would have oxygen and other elements still forming because there wouldn't be any neutrons um, so no neutrons no anything <laughs> uh, let's see Rock. so I guess this all ties into project blue beam parachute blue so when, when he said he'd rather be red, is this like a reference to Project Blue Beam almost? Perhaps there's some sort of correlation. This helped me figure out the structure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Yeah, the structure of uh, D2O and that um, the, the whole, that it's a, well, doesn't that little building in Brussels, Belgium, sort of show what the structure is? Because it's very similar to the pictures. What's a geometric shape called that has ten sides to it? It's the reason why deuterium oxide does not the refract colors. What, those decagons? If you have a the pentagon, yeah, I, right? I, I I guess it's a decagon, yeah. Well, then there's also the twelve sided dodecagon. So well, you got D O. It's it's all in there. Here. So I was always Here. suspected. The whole story about Jesse Womble is fake. Okay, so the parachute. This is what the parachute really means, and. So they all know about this then? Or they're all just puppets? The parachute is the, the dome. And the center of it is the vortex. And then you've got 10 circles representing the makings of deuterium oxide. Whoa. And of course, 10 is basically the number of circles in a uh, Kabbalah, with the Earth being 10. There isn't a dome, which that dome could be ice, but it, a, a guy sent me something showing how the, elect the electron magnetic field could actually be like a screen that, that bends and reflects images. So it's probably both. Um, but there, there is no magnetic field directly over the North Pole. There's a vortex. So sine waves can go down through the center of the vortex. But everywhere else, the, the 
the magnetic field busts the sine waves apart. So the ele all electrons head towards the north pole. They form that vortex. And the positron, the anti-electrons, all go outwards towards Antarctica. Have they disrupted this in any way? Seems like they have. Well, not only that, but like I said, um, I think that the Earth has a way of repairing itself, and in order to do that, it would have to regenerate enough hot magma in the Arctic region to remelt hardened iron that is causing the magnetic field. Well, when couldn't when we just iron, have a technology do that? They don't want this to happen. It terrifies them. Heavy water terrifies them. They don't want, they want to strengthen that magnetic field. So we can the terraform the earth. They're terrified that there isn't going to be any sun. I saw that communicated in one of um, Will Farrow's uh, movies. The GoPro, I think, or the basketball one. It's like the sun's going away, right? Well, there there was sun. Be, I mean, there was there was a light source before any of this shit ever happened. So this is bullshit. And the whole thing about three days of darkness, that could be possible if you got rid of the if if you got rid of the magnetic field. It might take some time for whatever it might take some time for that light source to regenerate because I think it interacted with the um, the cloud the positrons in the cloud cover and it was 24 hour daylight there was no darkness there also wasn't damaging radiation that you know ages this and gives us cancer and kills us. It was it was all filtered. So then how did they fuck it up? Mining. But then they discovered how to use that as a weapon and that's what they started doing. Forced magma eruptions everywhere. They use it as a weapon to wipe out entire populations that were prosperous and then they'd go in and you know, mine what came up out of the earth from from the eruptions. And they're still doing that mm -hmm. with the Orville Dam collapse. Well, so sort yes, of. Yes, yes, they're still doing it. The Russians, the first information that came out about deuterium oxide being. Um, life extending and anti-aging was from the Russians. The Russians know. Because they have a, a supply of it. Right? Oh, they have that lake? <sighs> well, the Russians were looking for it in Vostok. I know that. The bottom of Vostok. Mm -hmm. And... Um, but actually, the biggest sources of it seem to be around China, Japan, and the Philippines. The biggest, the biggest supplies of it are near the equator. So that's why they're in the Philippines now with Tim Hortons. They're trying to set up their front operation. Well, haven't haven't you read about um, all of the speculation about ob obtaining <coughs> massive amounts of? Uh, D2O from the region of the Philippines. Yeah. To use to use for energy. The fools. And the Chinese wanted to take heavy water and convert it to uh, H2O, so that yeah. population has to have something to drink. Yeah, the, the Chinese want to want to distill the water to, to completely remove the few. Uh, the few deuterium atoms that are, that are in drinking water, which is just, you know, stupid. Basically, why zilch. Why don't oh, they yeah, just trade the heavy causes, water for? It causes cancer. 
they should ship off the heavy waters to us and we'll trade them our tap water. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's always been money, and I think what it tells us is that the when those sine waves are busted apart, they become electrons and positrons, which then become neutrons and protons. Protons with electrons, neutrons with positrons. And positrons are attracted to crystal. Electrons are attracted to, like, um, magnetic iron, okay? So the moon is described as being, the surface of it being a fine crystal in it. it is, whatever, wherever it is, it is crystal because you can see through it. So that's the whole thing about money, the moon. Um, it does pertain to deuterium. What about that bone ash shit they were talking about? I don't know. That might just be just bullshit. Just bullshit. Um, because of the, uh, China and the moon. Okay, they say it's the, the ingredients of fine china. Well, actually, the Chinese have always been associated with the moon and um, probably, you know, the mythical continent of Mu. In, so, moon I, think milk. By, I think by far that, you know, the, the Chinese were initially the most probably technologically advanced people on this planet the people of india you look at ancient pictures and that you can't tell the difference they look like they're chinese it was another uh it was another invading population that moved into southern india that gave people of india a different look like what well, what we're seeing since now? A, a, a lot of people in India are basically they're black people, and you know, black people with straight hair, they're dark skinned, they, their noses are different. Um, they look different now, but you look at ancient murals and stuff, you can't tell the difference between the people of India and the people of China. I oh, fear that's that's what's happening with Europe. People won't even remember Sweden. Can you imagine that, eh? It's fucking ridiculous. Who's who do you think is responsible for Sweden then on a mafia sense? I don't know. I overheard an actor last night. This thing about the Trappist. Yeah. I'm thinking the about the Von Trapp family. And they escaped over the mountains into Switzerland. And this actor last night from the show Friends, the one that played Joey, he made this big to do about how he had this paranoia about, had this lifelong paranoia about Switzerland and hated Switzerland. Uh, the only place he'd never done, you know, any kind of show or something. It's like, what is this about? And then he mentioned Trappist in pictures. Well, the victim, one of the victims of the London um, attack uh, just the other day, he they showed a picture of him. He was holding a, a, a beer in his hand, and it was Achel, A-C-H-E-L. So I look up Achel, and it's um, it was brewed by Trappists, right? So I'm just like, okay. So they're obviously communicating something. I have no idea what, but someone else will. So that's why I mentioned it. So... And why are they Americans? All these Americans are getting killed in Europe. It's like, this is bullshit. Like, what? fuck, it's fake. It's fake, but I don't understand how. Yet. So what's this Trappist shit about? In Switzerland, yeah. If it's a reference to the Von Trapp family, it's a reference to Switzerland, and it would be a reference to gold. And so gold and bonds are being communicated in this London, a terrorist attack. Well, if the bond market collapses, 
and it looks like it, it is collapsing. Um, it's it's already causing gold to go to go up in price. They're having a hard time suppressing it. So, if the bond market collapses and the stock market and the currency collapses, and everybody's going to flee to to precious metals. They can't stop it. They don't, they don't have enough to stop it. And, you know, Russia and China have been collecting uh, massive amounts of gold for quite a few years now. They're the biggest buyers of it. This is all insanity. So they want to start a war with both China and Russia. They want World War Three. They want to... They, and they're crazy enough to, to want to nuke the entire world. Man. That can't happen. I gotta fucking fuck these hot Korean girls first. <laughs> can't have the planet fucking nuke, then they can't. Did you read, do you want me to give you that link again? Did you read that article about what was going on with Kennedy and the warmongers? It's the scariest thing I have ever read. Let me take a look here. I'll, I'll get it for you again. As I put on my page, this is a must read because it will scare the piss out of you. Well, hopefully not. because This tells you exactly how crazy they are and it's the same fucking people. Oh, I've already um, seen a bunch of crazy shit, so I kind of have an idea how crazy they are. I mean, oh, here, you, right here, I found it. By the Atlantic, you have got to read that. Let's take a look. Just read it and then give me a ring after you do, okay? Well, wait. It's going to take you a while to read it. Trust me, it's worth reading. Well, keep, <clears throat> talk, talk to me while I, I read silently here. Just look at I what's mean, going what? on in the world and if we've had any, you know, terrorist attacks today or... <sighs> the Atlantic. There. Mammoth calls the National Guard. A <laughs> mammoth. Was he woolly? Are they talking about Mammoth Mountain in California? Mammoth Dam? Oh, sorry. And now they're in Latvia to curb Russian aggression again. That's uh, freezing. P fifty two bombers in Florida. There's your Florida connection again, eh? <clears throat> Something's going on with the the dam up north in California. Military's highest brass. What do you think the Fidel Castro link is with Justin Trudeau? It really does look like Trudeau's father, right? Or some sort of connection. Does that mean Fidel Castro gave his son over to um, Canada? No, oh, I don't know. You just got to read what they wanted to do with nukes. Underwater, outer space, nuclear war, radiation fallout. Oceans. That Pentagon brass would overreact to Soviet provocations. They wanted to nuke Cuba. Look how close Cuba is to Florida. I mean, 
don't think the mafia would have liked that. So it's a mafia war. Something's not right though, because where did they get the heavy water to weaponize all the the uranium and plutonium? Well, that was a big thing. That's that's basically how they stopped Germany. Well, if they they could never prove that Germany had the capability of even making. But weapons. think about this. They didn't discover the existence of the neutron, allegedly, according to them, until, what, 1932? And by 1933, they were bombarding uranium with neutrons. Somehow, something they couldn't see, they discovered and could separate and bombard uranium with. And by uh, 1938, they were building nuclear bombs. Doesn't make sense. No. I, no. The timing doesn't make any sense. Mm -mm. And then it's like, let's just bomb Japan with them. Even though Japan had basically lost the war at that point. Mm -hmm. And their excuse is, oh, well, we didn't want a prolonged war. And they've always had it in for Japan. The Jesuits and the Jews. Because the American people had no idea, right? Right. I mean, regular Americans, not possibly. And why? And the whole Nanking rape of Nanking story—that's fake. That the Chinese invented. So why is Japan demonized so badly? Because they're easy. They do the same thing with the Chinese. If the if China wasn't so big. Why do you think they went after Korea and Cambodia and Laos and all of the Asian countries? They hate the Asians. Why? I think it goes way, way back in history. I was starting to suspect there are, this is the ancient bloodline feuds between these different fucking... The Jews are still pissed off about brass and being not knowing how to make it and being fooled that it was gold and the Chinese made the brass. They, they, they discovered how to get zinc from vapor. The Jews didn't know how to make brass. They thought it was gold. <laughs> this is why they keep... But <laughs> but the brass resisted. Why, why do they keep fucking referencing this uncertain trumpet? And that trumpets are made of brass, aren't they? Well, the ancient ones weren't. The Jews only knew how to make bronze. They didn't know. They didn't know how to obtain the zinc to make brass. They didn't ever try to like play like the mixing game and see who fucking went dumbasses. You have to obtain. You have to obtain zinc. when you're smelting ore. You have to obtain zinc from the fucking vapor, the smoke that comes off of the smelting process. They had no idea of what zinc was or how to get it. That's why that brass headband from Avarice is so important. It tells me who those people were. And the symbolism on it also does. The clematis flower and the, um... So you think that the Chinese are being hit today deer. because they have the artificial intelligence as well? The Chinese invented binary language, binary code. The Chinese invented the fucking screw. Do you know how big that is in building things, mechanical things? The screw, a simple screw. Why don't they talk about that then? Because they, they seek to obliterate history. Well, that's too bad because the, the Asian girls are way sexier than these Jewish broads. <laughs> I'm sure you were. 
a lot of Egyptian symbolism is nothing but simple symbolism for basic tools like a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. <laughs> yes, the invention of the screw was a major thing. And I yes, robots there there is much evidence that robots existed thousands of years ago. So this is why Japan is like leading this technological robo shit. Yeah, but they're out of control. It's the wrong kind of robo shit. They're every country on this planet is is corrupted and insane. And their leaders are because they've been consuming lead, I guess. That's why they're public leaders. It's not the people. It's just like the Americans. I mean, it's, it's you can't blame the people of all these countries. Yeah, this article does sound freak, freaky. They were going to nuke the... They wanted to nuke the entire fucking world. Why? They're insane. They're repeating history. It's happened before. The Bay of Pigs. How much does setting up nuclear bombs increase the overall frequency of the planet, thereby the magnetic field? Is this some sort of biblical pig bullshit, though? Like the the demons and the pigs? Probably. What is the bit? It's what the fuck? Supposedly, it's over some some bay in Cuba that translates to Bay of Pigs, but it wasn't really where the Bay of Pigs thing happened, so there's a problem with that. It has a different meaning. Cuban exiles. Is that why that Scarface movie is talking about uh, Tony Montana's in the moon, right? What? Well, I was watching it, right? And you know how he's getting shot with all the bullets at the end of the movie, but he's not dying? It's because he's the moon. What movie is that? Scarface with uh, Al Pacino. Oh. So, why is he the moon? Why is the Cuban guy the moon? What's being communicated with that? I don't know. Maybe money. Moon eye, money. Coke. And an eye is an isotope. An ion, not an isotope, but an ion. <laughs> These people are all incestuous, right? They're all fucking, they're all family members, right? So. Uh. I don't think the Italians would do that, except for the, the Basque, because they're negative blood type. But the Jews and the English have always been big interbreeders. Well, what about certain Asians? <laughs> and Indians and Muslims. You know, there's so much crazy shit going on. It's just disgusting. Well, the people in the cult, the whole incest thing is part of the uh, cult thing. It's part of the Egyptian mythology. But there's got to be something prior to that. <laughs> something else. Because what about the people that don't have access to Egypt that are fucking their own family members? What's up, what's up with that? Airstrike. A 
all I know is people gave me silver dollars all my life, and I never understood why. Cuban Missile Crisis. Well, well. So, isn't it interesting that my family goes down to fucking Florida? Yeah, well, what, why? My dad would have been, my so-called dad would have been what? Uh, six years old <laughs> when this happened, and my mom would have been 16. Yeah, is this, doesn't that make much, that makes a lot of sense, eh? Well, it seems that Florida began with the Catholics and Jesuits, but somehow the Jews took it over. I'd rather my children be red than dead. The Chinese are pretty crazy right now, I'd say. And I, I think with reason. No, well, I mean, they're they're can't. What's up with the cannibalizing of their own people and all this other shit going on here? Like, and ta well, and they're, Taiwan. They're, ter they're terrible about polluting polluting the earth. China just doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Well. But I don't think they were that way before they were invaded in the Opium Wars. I'm not so sure. From what I've seen, there seems to be a cultural problem. It extends far back before European I don't like, contact. I don't, I don't like the variety of things they eat, I know that. Nah, but there's an emotional thing. They're, they're, they're like, see... <laughs> They're lacking something that that fight back fucking sh spirit, you know. There's something lacking. Why are they so terrible about driving cars? <laughs> <laughs> they are. Cause they're oblivious to everything around them. Okay, that's why they can't. They got no eye hand coordination or sense of peripheral vision. Okay. That's People why. So, so it's just like there's no behind, there's no to the sides, there's just in front and down. Well, people, <laughs> people laugh about no that offense. in California, okay? But I, I remember as a kid taking a driver's ed class, and there were these two twin girls that were Chinese. I mean, they were retarded when it came to driving a car, you couldn't teach them. I think we've got retarded versions of what once was probably a pretty sophisticated race. Just like the Irish, right? You know that whole Irish before alcohol? Really well, after alcohol. You see the depictions of the hydrocephalus in ancient Chinese illustrations. They had a big problem with that. So how does Jack Ma tie into that? The CEO of Alibaba. I don't know. Well, I showed you his picture, right? Yeah. He's a pinhead, though. The uh, ancient Chinese deities clearly show hydrocephalus, which is, I believe, the result of heavy metal poisoning. It could have been, however, considering the red Chinese dragon that was um, cinnabar, it, it could have been from that until they figured it out. Cinnabar, right? Mercury comes from Cinnabar. They figured it out and they quit using it. Well, it's good for them to do so. <laughs> there we go. Well, 
called an interesting article. Wait, the the, the fucking the thing about the three, the three, the magi and the three wise men. That was all one Chinese deity. But why do they call it opium? I don't know. I can't help but think that Ethiopia has something to do with it. Yeah. And well, because the, the Jews... Chinese, the Chinese are in Africa doing all their weird shit. Like, why are the Chinese so interested in Africa? The Jews were in Ethiopia before they got up to the Levant and to Egypt. Um, it's pretty clear that the Chinese built the Giza pyramids. Which ones? The, the Giza, the, the ones that... Oh, the shitty ones? Have, no, the big ones that have truly lasted all these years. Um, but you were saying those ones are shit, though. Like, they're just mock, they're mock imitations of... Uh... The real ones that were built a long time ago. Well, they have been discovered in China. Exact same design. So, um, Where are they building them for? I think that the, the Chinese initially in northern Africa, I don't think they were prejudiced. I think they freely mixed with other races. <laughs> um, well, that, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you you got the Nubian people out of that, people with the, um, straight hair but darker skin. I, if you look at the oldest, the oldest Egyptian um, figures, figurines and stuff, they're clearly Asian, <sighs> like Khufu, and Khufu is is a Chinese name. So where does someone like me come from? No. Look at me! I'm fucking like, kind of like out of the. Uh, there's no one that looks like me around here, right? Eh? Am I a robot? No. <laughs> what, which what you are genetically now doesn't necessarily have anything to do with what you've been before. So you call me a nigga? <laughs> <laughs> the um, this thing about New Orleans, I think that the the oldest mafia in the United States has been um, trying to harvest uh, genetic material for Bombay. I do. The Bombay blood type. Mm hmm So they can have their biblical lambs to eat. No, I don't that group I don't think that's why they're doing it. Oh. Now the English mafia, Masonic occult, who are Jews, that would be their motive. I take it you haven't seen the Jackie Chan film Shanghai Nights. Mm -mm. It's one of those like B films. Like I saw it as a kid. Um, what? What? Well, fuck. It was two thousand three. Would have been like fifteen years old. So we saw that in the theaters. I still remember that because we were front row. We had our necks up the whole fucking time. But anyway, there was a whole. Um, alliance between this, the Chinese and the British. Now, the Chinese guy played by Donnie Yen and the British guy, I can't remember the actor's name. Let's see. Anyway, so they had the the whole Imperial Seal, which was like some crystal device. And um, I only, in hindsight now, realize how specific and how important this crystal device is to the whole understanding um, what they're doing. Bombay would have been the original blood type. 
Uh, the reason that Bombay has an antibody to every other blood type is it's actually an antibody against H antigen, which is a sugar that's on red blood cells. And that sugar is responsible for secretion. The Lewis antigen. Mm hmm. And it. It, um, for one thing, it changes, it changes red blood cells. It makes them rigidly round. So they don't flow through, uh, tiny capillaries or get, um, do you know, absorb through the smallest places as easily as they should without that rigidity caused by the H antigen sugar on red blood cells, they would change into an oval shape as needed. Just, that's, where the, that's, that's where the camel comes in. The camel has oval shaped blood cells and the, the whole thing about the, the camel and, and dryness is pertains to the excess fluid on the brain. The camel, camel's blood doesn't create excess fluid on the brain. That excess fluid is caused by blood cells and cerebrospinal fluid made from red blood cells not being to, able to effectively flow through the brain. And it, it causes retardation, insanity, Brain damage. So all these Muslims walking around are basically brain damaged, and everyone else is brain damaged. Well, they've been purposely doing that to them too. But um, in both India and all the Middle Eastern countries, as I said, a, a lot of the lead poisoning is coming from their the salt. How about the Zika virus and what they're doing? It's completely fake. They they manufactured that in in a vaccine. Um, and I, I can tell you why they did it. That, that goes to the Rh factor mutation. The Rh factor is now divided into two separate genes. One of them is a mutation that somehow they. You know, they've come up with this, concocted this story that the mutation developed from malaria. <laughs> uh, that, that second mutation in the RH factor, the part that's the C and E, um, is a fairly recent mutation in history, and it, it relates and mirrors directly to the secretion gene. There's, uh, it makes me also think there's that movie eagle eye with Shia LaBeouf and he's fighting the artificial intelligence named Aria. Yeah, <coughs> neg negative RH blood types, they, on they only have the CE portion of the gene, that's why they're negative, they don't have the D. Yeah, you know, they're... I don't know how many negative blood type people you've known, but they do have their brains do work differently, and they they they're very mathematical, very um, very left brained, very. It's like an obsession with numbers, so. And I think that the Jews had a lot of negative blood types. It, it might have been part of their part of their infertility and problems, but lead consumption probably would have been the biggest. Lead. Where did they get all the lead from? It's found in. <coughs> it's it's found with silver and galena ore. So the silver that they were getting from the New World? No, I think at that time, probably um, at, at the time that the, the Jews were in Egypt, most of it was coming from the region of Portugal and Spain and the Canary Islands. 
Um, <laughs> it went from there to Greece, and <coughs> then from Greece, which was basically also the coastline of Turkey, into Egypt. Okay. Well, they end up calling it Turkey, though. That wasn't the the Turkey. Yeah, but it used to be Greek. And now it has that Islamic crescent moon bullshit. <laughs> Sickle cell anemia. Well. Sickle cell anemia, okay, there's a difference in oval blood cells and sickle cell blood cells. But um, it's like sickle cell blood cells are like oval blood cells that have gone berserk and mutated. So they look at people who have a substantial amount of oval blood cells as being anemic, but it's not true. And they can't figure out why. How come there's some people that have a lot of oval blood cells, but they have no signs of anemia? Well, it's a different thing. And <coughs> red blood, blood cells, if, if, you, if you're not a secretor and you have the ability for your red blood cells to change form into an oval shape for easier flow. They stay that way until they're replaced by the body. Once once they become an oval shape, they stay that way until they're replaced. Um, okay. Now, I bought a microscope. I have quite a few. I have a substantial amount of oval red blood cells. I do know that. And I got that hint from somebody many years ago. Another thing about them is they tend to um, when uh, they tend to stack. They tend to um, you. They tend to cluster, and yet you would think that that would prevent flow, but it I, it doesn't. And that's I think that's where that that oh. that phrase when when oak leaves cluster. I think it has to do with the OK blood group gene. OK. Do you think and there's only one designation, positive A? Well, then, when O, when just, o K A oak leaves cluster, and it has to do with blood cells. If if you have a very rare gene where you you're not positive for OK, which is a cancer gene. You make me think with the stacking that whole Lay's stacks. The chips, the ones that are the same color as the shoe, the Jewish shoe bread. So that's the communi That's what they're communicating. Why did the Jew like? I don't understand. And blue blood. That's just a description of blood not circulating back out of the brain as it should. The, the spinal fluid in the brain is supposed to rejoin the blood and circulate back out of the body. And blue blood, it, it, that's the secretion gene, LEB, blue. Uh, the Lewis, LEB positive, that's secretion, that's blue. So this is what all those Kennedy people were all running around trying to figure out? I think that they've got electron represented as blue and the anti-electron that they don't want to talk about as red. Um, but the, the Bible, that evil Adam and Eve, which, you know, it's so an Adam as an A-T-O-M, and Eve translates as a cave. Um, the Hebrew and Greek words for Adam is red man or red land. 
So he'd rather be red than heavy water? Is well, that... in, his, in his case, you know, you, you've got to demonize red, so it's communist red. What's the original red they're talking about, though? Well, I think the red, as I said, I think the red and the blue represents electrons and positrons. <laughs>